What's up, B's and G's? How are you guys doing? It's, um, some day of the week. Monday, I think. I forget. But I'm going to do a beer review. I got a little bit of a break from, uh, from folks, so I'm going to sneak down here into the cave and enjoy this bad boy from my boy Dan, the Hazelnut Stout. Uh, this came to me from Dan Barrage Brewer, so down there you'll see um, you'll see that Dan is an awesome, awesome dude. And uh, the last one that I had from him, which I cannot remember which one that was, was friggin' phenomenal. And his 2015 SJ Pour beer was friggin' wicked too. Um, he actually gave me another one of those, so that shit was good. So I'm fully expecting this one to freaking kill. Oh, look at that. Mega smoke. Can you see that? Here, let me. Right there. Massive. Oh, holy goodness. So, um, oh, that's right. Nate helped him with that. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Nate and uh, Dan brewed this one. Nate was there in October, I think, for the um, the Homebrew thing of a jigger that I cannot remember. The Homebrew Homecoming. Jesus Christ, Dan. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to pour this. Holy carbonation, Batman. I'm going slow. I'm putting it into the old Spiegelhaus stout. Okay, this might take a minute. So, bear with. Hold on. I think Dan, he uh, bottles off the keg with the Larry tubing method. Holy goodness. It's like a souffle. Don't fall. Okay. Excuse me. Holy hell. Okay, I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to... Look at that carbonation just like screaming. Clean that off. Holy shit. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, it took a little while. Excuse me. So we got it there. It's all in. So, it looks gorgeous. Um, this head is like super, super frothy. It's like super khaki coffee colored, which is pretty, pretty awesome. I love, um, I kind of love stout heads, actually, like that just coffee, you know, coffee and cream, basically. Um, the carb on this is just intense. It's going ape shit. Um, the color on this, like it, when you hold it up to the light, which you can't see, but from my end over here, like right around here and there is like this really um there's amber and then there's like ruby and this is proper like ruby color actually it's like deep blood red it's fucking gorgeous um and it's just clear 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 actually i mean it's black you can you can't really see through it but you can see through it so it's um it's a brilliant brilliant looker um, on the nose, sorry, do the chat on right, the salute. I expected it to be um, a little more hazelnutty, actually. Um, kind of like that, that earthy nut character, kind of like, you know, oily and um, nutty. And I'm getting... It's funny, I'm actually, I'm getting a, um, kind of the, a lot of the same qualities that was in Wally's Hickory Brown. It's kind of like a woody, hickory nose. Um, Levy too, actually. It's a kind of a little bit like the deciduous in that it's got that earthy, that kind of earthy note, just not a nut earthy note, that, that makes any sense. Um. It's there. 
I mean, there is there is hazelnut there. Um, I think when I think of hazelnut coffee, or hazelnut, I think of hazelnut coffee, and there's kind of like that assy, deep kind of flavor from the hazelnut and the coffee mix. Um, I'm getting coffee on this. I get a little slight bit of coffee on this. I, mean, I don't want to shake it up too much because, you know. Um, but it is very woodsy, very autumn-esque actually, which is awesome because you did brew this, if this is the same one that you brewed in October, perfect timing, you know, now we've got terroir, right? But there's chocolate in here, actually a big punch of chocolate right there, and it's coming out a little bit more, the, the nut, kind of, the nut quality, the um, toastiness, I guess. All right, fuck this, I'm diving in. Sorry, I can smell this and sit on it for forever. Cheers, Dan. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. This is smelling friggin' awesome. Hmm. So, on the, on the tongue, it's different, it's totally different than what I'm getting in the nose. Um, I expected um, I expected less of that, the nut that I was looking for than I'm actually getting, if that makes sense. I'm actually getting more of the nut on the tongue than I am on my nose. Um, I didn't have to point, you know, where the fucking nose is. Fucking idiot I am. Um, and it's lighter, too. The body is a lot lighter than I expected. It's, um, I think which, which is good because I, you know, with the amount of roastiness that I was getting in this, too much body, I think, would, um, kind of make it just heavy, you know, too, just kind of big and, um, bulky. And the body on this is super light, which is actually really refreshing. Um, it's actually really interesting, the fact that I expected it to be but like a beef chief and it's it's absolutely not um it's just gorgeous i mean carbonation is unreal it's definitely um it's carbonated i'm feeling it which given its body being so light the amount of carbonation actually worked for this um actually has interesting it's kind of more without the bitterness but it's more black IPA I think <clears throat> than stout for me possibly porter but it's got that kind of body um, sorry my phone's going fucking ham over here um, it's a fucking brilliant beer Dan I mean I dig it I dig the shit out of this thing <sighs> there's something there though I can't, it's a flavor I can't put my finger on. Um, mm, yeah, okay. There's, um, <clears throat> yeah, okay, there it is. So, there was a bit of a plum, or like a kind of a dark fruit that just hit me right there, but it's not, it's not super, um, super sweet. I know that he says this is a sweet stout. I'm not saying this is very sweet. It's not drying either. It's not super dry. It's not cloying. Um, it's it's beautiful. I mean, it's an actually... Um, it's a gorgeous mouthfeel. Gorgeous mouthfeel. Yeah, it's just got like... Just the right balance of body to it. It's not... It's... I mean, it's right there. It's right where it needs to be. Really good fucking beer, Dan. Um, yeah. I wish... I do wish there was a little bit more hazelnut in there, but I don't... 
they don't completely need it to be because it's as as it is it's freaking gorgeous i can smell this thing all fucking day so obviously it sucks pretty bad right thank you dan awesome fucking job it's really weird saying thank you dan and i'm looking at a camera that's showing me me and goose it's like inception anyway thanks dude I really appreciate you sending me some stuff. I'm going to get back into the fridge and get some more stuff out and more reviews on camera. I appreciate it, dude. If you guys don't know Dan, go check it out. Barrage Brewer. He fucking rocks. So, I hope you guys have a great fucking day. Dan, cheers, brother. Later. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs>